Uh, my name is Philip Garcia. I was born in Canada and I grew up in Portugal for 15 years. And then I, uh, I've been here for the last four to five years. And um, I'm a singer songwriter. I make music. I've been spending my time writing songs about you. And I lie in every night. So um, I make pop based music, although pop music nowadays is very varied. It's uh, yeah, so I, my influences are like R&B, soul, rock, a little bit of everything, yeah. And uh, I've been doing that for the last uh, four years, four to five years, like intensely. But before that, I was on and off when I was a kid playing guitar. I started playing again because I was on and off when I was younger. I started playing seriously when I arrived here because I had a moment of being a little alone and I had a lonely period and and music felt like the only calling that healed that. So I just picked it up then and I never stopped. Yeah, at the moment I, I just live with my mom. It's been like that for the last four years. My dad lives in Portugal and uh, my brother's actually in Singapore right now um, working as a personal trainer, fitness, yeah, strength and conditioning kind of guy. Uh, so. I played uh, soccer or football, European football, when I was uh, younger a lot, and and it was I was I was quite good at it, and I could have made a career out of it. But then it came a certain point where I was I felt like I was more of a creative person, so I ended up skateboarding, skimboarding, uh, and then I, on the creative end, I started painting and drawing a lot for a lot for like three years. I was intense about it. And whenever I get into something, I get into something very passionately and it's all I ever want to do. Uh, so drawing was the last thing I did before I moved here. And when I moved here, I had a lonely period and music felt like it was the only thing that really could make me feel good. And art wasn't doing it for me, so I just went full into music because it was clear that that was what worked. Writing songs more specifically. I'm, um, yeah, I, I played live as much as I possibly can. I, for the first two, three years, before I had any projects out or or a band, and I don't even have a band now, I would just go to open mics a lot and then eventually those open mics turned into gigs and that's kind of where I'm at now. So gigs, depending on the season, they come fluctuate, come and go. Uh, but yeah, live performance is super important to me. Um, at the moment, I don't really make much money from it. A few of the gigs are paying and they're they, they pay very nicely in the last six months, but uh, I do a lot of stuff for free. So I'm just trying to make CDs and songs and hoping that my music in production will expand my growth. I think... Um, early days I was trying to convince people that I wanted to do this because I didn't quite believe in it but now I really feel like I like I, I know I'm gonna do it and I don't really talk about it to people anymore if they ask me I'll tell them where I'm gonna be and what I want to do but yeah I, there's no point I think I was partially born like this is like nature versus nurture I think I was partially born with this willpower but um, there was definitely a moment, like my parents got divorced and there was like a whole mess there that it made me grow up a lot earlier than I needed to. And me being the kind of person I am just like amplified that. And now I'm just like really career driven and yeah. No, I don't think you know what it's like. To rest alone with these thoughts and night It's been hard It's been hard I just, Firstly, I just want to make money off of music Living off of music Sounds super humble um, My main goal is to be able to travel with music So I would like We were talking earlier about going to Japan I want to go to Japan this year I want to document the process while I'm there. I want to make projects. I want to tour. I like all, all of it. Write songs, produce. Yeah.
I have, I've, I've set a goal for myself already. It's uh, to play at Danforth Music Hall, um, which is at Broadview Danforth in Toronto. Uh, can hold about 1,500 people, I believe. Uh, yeah, my goal is to play there. I, uh, I, f I released my first project in June. I was called Alone Mostly. And then in November, yeah, exactly. Um, well, mostly in the November, I released Surfacing, which is that one over there. Um, and I produced that one all myself. And now the work project I'm working on right now, I'm going to release in March. I, uh, I produced this one all myself too. And I, I was, I'm planning on releasing three projects this year. However, I might be going to Japan. So things may change, but I think I could do two projects this year without a doubt. Yeah, so right now I'm working on an EP called Comfort. And that's coming out in March and I'm actually documenting it all on my YouTube channel of just like day in and day out of recording and what it's like being an independent musician setting up a project for release on Apple Music and Spotify. I don't have 10 people behind me. <laughs> yeah so the YouTube channel name is Phil Garcia. I also do like advice and tutorial videos for just beginner creative. It's generally music but it also can be just people that want to do creative endeavors. Um, and then obviously all my documentary vlog style videos, and yeah. Yeah, so everything you see in here, I bought myself. I'm gracious enough to have a mother who can support me, enough that I don't have to pay too much rent. So I am right now I'm working part-time, but I've worked full-time in the past and more than full-time. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm very close to breaking out of the job now. It's part-time, it's only like two to three days a week. And I think very slowly gigs are going to take over and hopefully YouTube and yeah, things are starting to turn. Honestly, I felt like I had pretty good insight into what I was, what was going to happen in the future. But I would just say, for lack of a better term, just trust in the process. I think, no, actually I'd say fall in love with the process because it's not about playing Danforth Music Hall, it's about getting there. And I've really fallen in love with it, so like, I'm just more content as a person, like, aside from career, I'm just so happy because I love what I'm doing, and I love the process of trying to get there. I think anything worthwhile having is gonna not gonna be easy to obtain, and you just gotta, before you start anything, before you climb that mountain, you gotta realize it's gonna be a mountain and very few people get to do this, so, you gotta, like, when you stumble along your way, it's natural. And you hear success stories of, for me, Ed Sheeran, you hear all his success stories and how he, he struggled for a very long time. It's all a part of the journey, so when you play a show and no one cares, or I still play shows and people don't care, it doesn't faze me because I know it's part of the process and I believe in myself. If you don't believe in yourself, then just start believing in yourself. <laughs> Alright, so my name is Philip Garcia. You just watched a mini documentary about me or a little video about me. Uh, you can follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Philip Garcia. You can easily find me, 1L Philip Garcia. Um, just come with me with this journey because I'm going to get there, so you can watch. <laughs> Cut, that's it. You killed it. Done. Beep, 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 beep. Thinking of a different space Maybe where the trees live far away And wishing I can manifest this decision